we're on, I think. Okay. So, hi. Hello, this is Artie and Mama. Here. And our plan is to have a go at doing some um, some live streams together, journaling together. Yeah. Because Artie loves to journal and I love to journal and it's something we enjoy doing together. Mm -hmm. And we thought it would be fun to do it, um, do a live stream because yeah. you know, why not? Why freaking not? <laughs> it would be fun and you can do it with us on live. Yeah. So this is our sort of our test one. So we yeah. haven't like advertised it or told anybody. I went on Instagram like half an hour ago and said like, come on if you want to. But I haven't actually like um, really like told anybody else about it. So this yeah. is our, kind of like our practice run. And if a few people can come, then that's good. But yeah. low pressure. Um, <laughs> did you just like the video? Yes. <laughs> Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to get started. We thought we might just to give us um, a bit of a direction. We have a prompt. Yeah, you came up with a prompt, didn't you? Yes. Travel dreams. Because, like, I, I think I'm going to make, like, a list of places that I want to go. Yeah. Because lockdown right now. We and can't also, actually travel. Well, it's partly lockdown. But it's also that we've been watching the Olympics. And yeah. there's so many cool countries and um, interesting places that uh, we've been reminded of just mm. by watching people come out and um, in the opening ceremony and like yeah. playing their sports and all that kind of stuff. So you have to not get too distracted by the screen, otherwise you'll forget to do the journal. <laughs> so but this is what we're doing. So this is Artie's journal. We're both working in Traveller's Notebooks. Do you want to tell people about your journal? It's a pretty new one. Yeah. yeah. I started, the first page that I made was here. 18th of July. Um, some people on the other side of the world would be December 5th. Yeah. Well, you need one of your clips to hold it open. Yes, my clip is here. I'm just moving it over so it stays in, in the frame. There we go. Um, and I um, am at working... At some point... Oh, so good. At some point when um, I get closer to finishing this, we should do a flip through of mine. Yeah, when it's done. Journal. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I am working in a travel notebook as well. This is my personal journal. I haven't done a lot of um, videos about this journal before. I have one coming to Patreon soon where I do a full flip through of this insert, um, which is a finished one. Uh, but because it's my personal journal, that's just on Patreon. I'm not going to put that on the like public youtube channel so if you're interested in seeing that there's a, there'll be a link in the description at some point where you can find it via my instagram and then i've got this one which is the one i'm currently working in i'm going to be doing some um journal with me's where you'll see a process for a page or two in here but it's not how i uh, i don't share all of it uh, because it's yeah i don't know I've just done it <laughs> so this is going to be our list of places we're going we want to go travel because mm -hmm. sometimes if you don't have heaps to journal about like big events or anything like that writing lists or um plans and things in your journal can also be a way that you can you can write mm -hmm. and include things so Annie, before you get started i wanted to show you i got um a couple of things from I'm our just writing the date. oh no that's fine i got a couple of things that you might want to use you don't have to mm. from our japan trip this is oh. A postcard from Studio Ghibli, and this is some writing paper from the Disneyland Hotel. So you don't have to use them; you can cut them up, you can tear them, you can make flip-ins with them. I think I'd like to use this. Yeah, flip-in. I'm mm. gonna do that. Yeah. Maybe I can. I maybe put the list here, some decorations here, journaling here. Mm -hmm. yeah. The other thing that could potentially work if you want to is mm -hmm. you can stick that to the back of this, so you can actually use both of them if you want to, or you can save this for something else. I think I'm going to save it up for something else, yeah. or you could use it. No, no, I've got this one here, which is uh, from the Studio Ghibli Museum. Sorry about the crinkling, everybody. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, stick it. Um, and this is uh, May and Totoro, and I've got this at the, uh, the shop at the Ghibli Museum. So when I think of travel, uh, there are lots of places that I want to go, but my favourite place that I've ever been is Japan. So um, that's definitely going on my list. Um, yeah. So yeah. 
thinking about how I want to decorate this page. Can you do green? No, no, go green. Okay. I have an idea of what I want to do. Yeah, Just cool. for the very start. So, um, I'm interested in what's going to go on your list, Chucky. Little places that I want to go through? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm interested in the specifics of what's going to go on your list. I'll be curious to see what you put on there. I have this little box, which is also something I got from Japan. This little cute little box with a, um, a little squirrely... Is it a squirrel or a chipmunk? I think it's a squirrel on it. I think it's a squirrel. Yeah, and it had yummy treats inside, but I now use it for um, my small scraps of paper. Um, it's handy to have to keep your tiny little bits because they can be really good for creating like layers and stuff. So, yeah. You, in, if you're watching right now, you should, uh, in the comments, write the places that you want to go and you can travel again. Yeah, that's true. You can either do it in the chat if you're here now, or you can we put can it in the comments if you watch it later, because we'll check those too. Yeah, and even if you don't want to share it with somebody, you should just do it while you're watching this. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's a very good point. So I'm looking for something to go on here, and I'm thinking I might see if I've got some paper from Japan. <laughs> I definitely do. Um, but there are other places I want to go too. Like yeah. when we went to, when next time we go to England, I want to go and visit the Liberty shop and go and touch I want to go to England and just think that twice. Yeah. I've only ever been to it in certain places in Australia and Japan. So. Pretty good. Where have you been in Australia? You've been to Sydney? I've been to Sydney. I've been to Perth. Mm -hmm. I've, yeah. <laughs> I've been to Tokyo. I've been to... Osaka. Osaka and Kyoto. Yep. I find it's funny that Tokyo and Kyoto are just like halfway through to Kyoto. Well, Kyoto is Tokyo spelled backwards or vice versa. Well, it starts, the K starts in the middle. Kyoto, Kyoto. Yeah. <laughs> if you mix around the letters, it becomes yeah. one or another. And did you know that Kyoto used to be the, the capital, capital? City. Yeah, and then Tokyo. Tokyo um, is, is now. I need to find out a bit more about the history of that. Um, yeah, so because I want to go to England and that's also going to be on my list, I think I'm going to use some Liberty print paper because that is. Uh, English and it, well, again, it's a place in England that I want to visit. Is that particular shop? And I love um, sewing with these fabrics. These prints are so beautiful, and the Liberty Tanner Lawn fabric is like so lovely to to sew with, and then also to you know snuggle under when it's been turned into a quilt or wear when it's been turned into some clothes. So, something like that. Yeah. So when I tear a piece off like that, I'll generally just tuck the other piece back into the book, which means that after a while, it gets a little bit fiddly and little bits fall out all the time, <laughs> but um, I'm okay with that. I'm wondering if this could go over this side. Sometimes they fall out because they just want to be used. And they don't actually fall out at all. Yeah. Are we out of focus? I think we might be out of focus. Oh, yeah. That's better. Yeah. I think if I, I think I moved my hands too close to the thing, so it's fixed. Oh, no. Hi, Sandra. How are you today? I hope you're having a lovely Sunday. We've been having a nice Sunday, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is Sunday. Yeah, Sandra's in Australia. I'm pretty oh. sure. Um, <laughs> I don't know if any of your subscribers. <laughs> no, that's all right. Um, we have had a really nice morning. We are planning on watching a bit of the Olympics this afternoon, I think. While we... I think my favourite sport in the Olympics is archery. Yeah. It's, the one, it's, also, it's also the one that I'd be most likely to do. Should be a dance one in the Olympics. Olympic dance? Yeah. I guess the closest to that is gymnastics, isn't it? Yeah. Which but is kind like, of next level, it's kind of different, yeah. But like, it would be cool because it's like a sport. It is a sport. Dance? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. It is a sport. Is, yeah. yeah. You certainly need to be very... Um, to be like fit and good at using your body and all that kind of stuff to be a good dancer, don't you? I've given myself just the right amount. Oh, good job. 
Um, I need some glue, mm -hmm. which I'm pretty sure I'm I have. I'm going to use that washi tape. Do you have any washi tape over there? Do I have any washi tape? No, I like mean, we've like, just met. No, I mean, like, over there right now. Here's the big bag of washi tape. Thank you. I'm going to choose one. Um, the other option Jeez, that I had. Oh, well, we'll be very happy to give you some inspiration, Sandra. We're doing our kind of relaxed, low-key kind of scrapping. This is our... So it's not like doing um, a full layout or anything like that. This is this is our journals. So hopefully it will help because it's yeah. like low pressure. What did she say? Um, Sandra wants to do some scrapping too, but she's not feeling very motivated, which, you know, sometimes we have, don't we? Yeah. I think uh, this is what I'm told a lot and it's sometimes annoying when it's told to me, but... Even if you're not that motivated, it doesn't have to be about anything special. Yeah. It can just be about, like, something... Everyday stuff? Yeah. Even if it's, like, something nice you saw on a walk or what you had for breakfast. That's true. Like, it, if it's, it's... It will seem really boring to you now, but in ten years' time it might not seem that boring. Yeah, that's so very like, true. That's a, a little thing that blank-year-old me used to do, do yeah. yeah I like that that's a very good point well you were the one who told me that. well that's why it's a very good point because I, I <laughs> told it to you in the first place no but I'm glad that that's something that you have kind of taken on because I think that's really true um as far as washi goes I have these ones too Chucky if you want to add like little can you see little um oh, yeah. extra details as well so let me know if you want some of those okay, thanks. gonna have to do some intricate oh, you're doing it yeah if you put it slightly forward, it'll still be in frame. No, I'm trying not to put this in frame. Because oh, because you just want to make I, it... I, it will be harder when my arms are stretched out. I see what you mean. Yeah. You've done a good job. That's lined up really well. Great. I'm going to move it up again now that you... I did it the wrong side. What do you mean? No, that's fine. Because you do another one on the inside. You do two layers. No, I mean... Hold it into I wanted frame. to do this part on the inside. Oh, I see. I can change that. One... Can you just pull it up this way a little bit? There we go. Okay. It's upside down. <laughs> Hang on. Take I'm two, gonna stop, take I'm going to stop hovering because I'm getting distracted by your scrapping and I'm not doing my scrapping. So I need to find some glue for mine. And I have some here. Uh, he's doing a tip in and he's concentrating. So we're just going to let him do that because I don't think I'm helping. <laughs> Sandra has said something again, I think. Oh, it says can't adjust the quality so it's a little bit blurry. Mm. Mm. It looks okay on my side. I think we might be popping in and out of focus a little bit because it's not sure whether to focus on Artie's hands or my hands. So I think as we get the hang of this, we'll have to make sure we're both staying in frame as much as possible because then it doesn't confuse the, the camera too much. Yeah, I'm just trying to... So that's, I think that's what we're going to do in future, but we'll get the hang of it. And please keep giving feedback because that's helpful for us. Yeah, it is because we... This is still a test run. Yeah. And we're not 100% sure. Yeah. Although, yeah, on my screen it looks like we're pretty pretty well in focus. So hopefully, it, it, when it does go out, it's correcting itself pretty quickly. That's good. Okay. Um, azaleas make me think of Japan as well. I love azaleas. Aren't they beautiful? And I've got this botanical illustration of some. Yeah. So I was thinking I might put that there. Um, oh, nice. I'm not sure whether I want to actually make this a tip in or just stick it in. Tipping I don't know how fun, much, but sticking in is also fun. Well, yeah, the tipping usually I'll do one if I want to create, make sure I've got extra space for journaling. Mm -hmm. But I actually don't know if I want to do heaps more than just writing a list for this one. Because sometimes you feel like writing heaps, and sometimes you just don't, and you that's just okay. Want to like make it pretty. Yeah, and especially if you've got a beautiful image like this, like it can be the star of the page, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm back in. I'm back in frame. I'm back in frame, guys. Hooray! Right, thank you. <laughs> I am. Actually, yeah. Need to come forward a little bit. No, that, oh, I see. Sorry, we're delayed. A little bit. Del okay. It's what we're saying right now will be <laughs> seen in five seconds. Yeah, right. We'll get the hang of this, I promise. Okay. Now I've got this space, this mm. space, and this space. You're giving yourself heaps of room, which is really good. So you can write however much you want, and then. This is where I'm going to put my list, and this is where I'm going to do some journaling and decoration, but what do I do here? Uh, uh, you can put on again you could decide to use that 
Okay. You could use some Don't patterned we, paper. Don't oh, she's talking about how it was blurry on her phone, but oh. it's okay on um, the iPad. Okay. So when I have a surface like that and I don't know what to do with it, you, um, I will often do a collage on it, like just do some pretty paper yeah. or washi or whatever. And I've got stacks of that. I've also got a few bits in here. Oh yeah, you've got oh, some of that. Oh. I reckon we should save that one and do a page about our favourite artists. Or authors, yeah. Yeah, for artists and writers. But that's Japanese paper, so that might be a good one. Um, I think I know what I'm going to try and do. Okay, cool, I'll let you do it. I think I might put my list on like a piece of, like a, a um, the back, um, our internet is so rubbish and if more than one of us is using it at once it gets grumpy, which is super fun when I'm trying to do um, work meetings and Artie's trying to do school and Sarah Jane's trying to teach, it all gets a little bit uh, fuzzled. fuzzled, that's it. That's the word, fuzzle. Puzzle is a great word, and I'm adding it to my personal dictionary. Do you have a personal dictionary? In my head. Hmm. <laughs> we should make a family dictionary of we new totally words. We totally should, because we're always making up new words, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, places. Cats will have their whole own page, set of pages, because we have so many names for them. <laughs> places to go. Yay. So on my list, I am putting... Yes, I'm double crochet. Double crochet, or just blue? Okay, I've got that. There we go. I think it'll be easier. We've got Japan. Obviously. <laughs> Japan, obviously. Of. Um, England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales. <laughs> Your list just sounds very similar to mine already. <laughs> that wasn't even meant to be a game. <laughs> I'd love to go to Turkey because I think I would really, I, I would really love to see like all of the beautiful art and food and stuff that. I don't know much about Turkey. Mm. I want to do some, I want to save some time for myself just to do random research things. Yeah. I know about. Places to go. Yeah. Places to go. It's just random stuff yeah. that I'm curious about. It's so cool that you guys, these, these days, you're I'm very bored these days, we've got the internet. We used to, um, like when I was your age, we could just look that stuff up. So I'm excited for you that you can do that. You keep telling me that. I know, but I it's know. amazing, I. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, we're very old. And you don't know how lucky you are. Arr. So that's me being an old lady. Was it a good impression? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't want you to be an old lady. I'm not really an old lady. No, you guys keep saying you're so old. You're not even 40. Yeah. But it's more when we think about ourselves compared to you, because it's like the mm -hmm. same, like, you know, you know what I mean. I do. Like... <laughs> Alright, um, what else was on my list? There's so many places. I want to Paris? go, to, oh, I very much want to go back to France, not just Paris, all of France. Canada? Yes, and specifically, specifically, um, Prince Edward Island. <laughs> I know why. Why? Uh, Green Gables, that's right. Pacific, Pacific Ocean. But there are other places in Canada that I'd also really love to go. I have been to Canada before and... I've never been to Canada and I really want to go. I loved it. Mummy um, took me not long after we kind of got together, we went on a trip together and we visited... Um, we visited so many cool places. We went to Vancouver. Um, what was that island? We went to Victoria Island. Yeah, well, no, Vancouver Island, but the city is called Victoria. The city is called Victoria, the yeah. island's called Vancouver Island. Yeah. That was beautiful. Do you remember when it, like, they had beautiful flowers in all of the hanging baskets? Yes. And I love that. Big, big British vibes. Yes, yeah, it's true. Um, sound more like a pirate than an old lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Arr. <laughs> Percy perched on my shoulder soon and then I'll really look like a pirate. Yes, honey? I am just going to go into the studio and take those things out too. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. That would be awesome. You would have this. Where else do we want to go? So many places. I want to, oh, I want to go to, um, If Iceland. any of you actually, for some reason, are interstate and live here, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> 
I want to go to Iceland. I want to see some um, glaciers before they all melt. It's funny. Iceland sounds like it's meant to be the colder one, and Greenland sounds like it's meant to be the hotter one, but it's actually the other way around. It's very true. Um... Sorry about the noise. I'm just trying to peel my double sided tape. No one can see that. They can just see your journal. They can't see what you're doing. You know. Artie's making a. Do you want to just hold it in frame for a second mm -hmm. to show? Hang on, I'm just almost. Oh, okay. I'm almost finished. I'm making a collage of top row papers. I think that fits. Oh, that would be great. Well. Yeah, you can just trim I the just, tiny bits that are. Yeah. Um, do you know that choppy chop guillotine thing you have? Yes, which you're not allowed to here? use. No, I know I'm not allowed to do it. Um, I can grab it from the studio. Is. You might need to get it from the okay. studio, yeah. I'll be out of you. Be out of you. You'll be right back. I'm trying to, there's so many places why can't I think of any of them? I'm having a I'm feeling brain blanky. Um I'd love to go to Russia, but I know that that is not safe for me and my family, but I still would love to go there. So do I add it to my list even if I don't think I'll ever get there? Maybe. I want to go to Germany. And I really want to try to go to Germany at Christmas so we can go to do the Christmas markets and um, like have that experience. All of the yummy spiced drinks and things. Ah, the guillotine. Okay, so what would you like done with the guillotine? I would like these ends to be trim, trimmed evenly. Okay, please. top and bottom? Yes, please. I'm going to do it this way because it's a bit of sticky lucky. Yep. Uh, I, um, I have three great granddaughters, but still don't feel old. Uh, yeah, that's it. It's in the mind, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely in the mind. Three great granddaughters. Wow, that's so cool. How many? That must mean you have several grandchildren as well. Maybe not. Maybe all the three great granddaughters are from the same land. This actually works because some of the excess washi, um, a double sided tape. Stuck it down. Stuck it down. I would probably put a bit more on. What'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> I would never. <laughs> Do you want to actually just use glue? Because it'll be easier. Yeah. Yoink. Maybe do a little sit in the chair as well. I'm just gonna. I'm standing up now. So. <laughs> Um, <laughs> why am I having so much trouble coming up with this list? Oh, I know. It's because my brain is telling me to stop writing because I need to leave have room. Had, have you had your... For, um, sticking this here with the flour so that they can overlap. So it means that you haven't had coffee yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, there we go. I'm not going to stick it down with glue yet, although I will. I want to be able to put some layers and things underneath before I commit. So that looks well. Yeah, that looks awesome, honey. I love it. Do I have a sticker like here, central? Do you have a sticker that I can put there, central? Stickers. I don't have heaps of stickers at the moment. Oh, I have God. a feeling. You know, I don't know if much is actually going to show up on that because it's quite busy. Did you want to put like a label sticker on it, or did you want to put like a picture sticker? I actually don't mind. I think it's actually okay by itself. I think it is too. I think the paper is so pretty that you don't really need to add anything if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to make I your list? All right. My list. Yes. Do you want to add any papers Six and stuff on? Wow. wow, that's so cool. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Addy. Done. Right. Here. All right, I'm going to put some layers underneath. I think maybe a. Okay. Joy. I shall go to, in the future, Japan. Oh. Yeah, we can't see it, honey. You have to move it up. Is that too right? It's far away from me. Mm. Japan, Ireland. Who can I use Bell Island? I-R-E-L-A-N-D? Yep. Ireland. 
it's the RE that gets a little bit. R1. You have to think about it for a second. One of Artie's favourite teachers is from Ireland. Or her family's from Ireland, Louise. Yeah. She was your Ooh. teacher last year. No, I didn't teach her that school. No, but now you have Jo, who is also awesome. Mm -hmm. All your teachers have been awesome. Yeah. If you had to, had to ask me least favourite to favourite teacher, I don't do it. <laughs> and, if you, and even if you did, we probably shouldn't tell them because no. that might not make them feel very good. And I um, wouldn't want to. Yes. Yeah. I will never only had good teachers. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I like this doily under here. I sort of feel like we need to now add some colour in here. So I'm wondering if I even want to add a little bit of paint. I don't normally paint in this journal. I've got some swatches. I actually tore this up earlier to use on another spread, but these are some swatches I was making of some of my um, watercolours, and I wonder if maybe they will look cute layered underneath. That's something that I love about this particular journal for me. It's it's a I wouldn't describe it as a junk journal, but I do use lots of junky scrappy bits. So I will like, um, I'll keep wrappers from sweets and I will keep uh, tickets and business cards and just random ephemera that I find around the place and it will end up in this journal. Um, and I love doing that. I've been doing a lot of thinking lately, just as I'm thinking about my channel and what I want to do on it and where it's going and um, all that stuff. And in that thinking, I've had a bit of trouble. Well, not trouble, but like I've noticed that I am um, not very good at delineating between junk journal, scrapbook and art journal. And I think for me, those things actually are a lot more blended together than they are for other people. And I do see a lot of other people doing um, really interesting things with how they mix those kind of genres up. And I don't know why for me for so long, it's been um, a thing that in my mind, I felt I've needed to keep separate from each other because there's no reason. Like you can just make it what you want. Yeah. And um, that's one of the reasons I like them because like they were, they're what you want and what you want doesn't necessarily have to be what other people want. Exactly. You don't have to please the crowd, you have to please yourself and if it's not fun for you, don't do it. Not, but if it isn't what other people want, then that's their problem. Uh, yes, I wish I could be as wise as you, my child, because you're very right. You're very, very right. Um, so yeah, with that, it's possible that we will see some more changes here on the channel mm -hmm. um, as as that kind of idea gets played out in my journals and my memory keeping. I kind of like this little swatch as a um, as a base for that flower. There's just something it feels a little bit busy, but I like it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with it to be honest. It doesn't matter too much. We just need to move this over this way a little bit. I've um, accidentally made one more dash. I have to think of one more place that I want to go to. Won't be too um, hard. I know Italy was on your list. Is I that there? I've put Italy there. Um, what else? New Zealand? Oh, yeah. New Zealand. Oh, I haven't put New Zealand on my list. Oh, I've run out of room now. <laughs> Maybe I need to redo it. Or well, maybe I can take this out. This is why I like not having to stick things down. And maybe instead of like a dot list, I'll just like write. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, so I'm gonna get my glue now. Where is it? I don't want this one, I want the glue stick. Here's its lid. What have I done with it? Oh, it's hiding behind the pencils. I was using it, sorry. No, that's okay. I just, because I saw the lid, I was like, oh no, I've done the thing where I've left the lid off again. No. That's classic. So when I put a doily down, I generally only put the adhesive under the part in the middle that doesn't have holes in it. Because sometimes 
if it's underneath here where the holes are, it can then stick to the next page. Mm -hmm. um, but I might put like a little bit around the edges um, as well. Okay, this is actually on watercolor paper, so I'm going to put some double sided tape on that. Could you pass that to me, please, my darling? Tape. Yeah, it's underneath the top row of paper. Oops. It's okay. Thank you. Um, there's glue. Just glue stick glue is not always strong enough for, for um, watercolour paper I've found. If I put a bit of double sided tape on it, it will stick better. erase on in the head all day now because of um, all of this Totoro discussion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Artie's here too. We're journaling together. We think we might make this a, a regular thing of hopping on and journaling together and maybe some... Let us know if you're all in keen for that. Yeah. Well, I asked on Instagram and everybody was like, yeah, do it. So I felt like that was um, a pretty good response. Everyone, like Lots of people were super keen. So that's why we're doing this little practice one to see if we like it and if it works. I think it's working pretty well so far. I agree. I'm having a lovely time journaling with you on the, on the camera. Because we do this anyway, don't we? We journal yeah. together at the table. So why, don't, why, why wouldn't we invite our friends along? It's okay. We've got um, we're doing a bit of a clear out this weekend because our um, our city is in lockdown. So we're doing what a lot of people are doing and getting rid of a bunch of stuff, like doing a bit of a clear out of some boxes and all that kind of thing. Um, and so Sarah Jane is pottering around doing a bit of that while we're doing this. We've got a big skip to put a lot of stuff in, so it's a proper clear out. Um, I was about to say, we, gotta, we hired a skip and... That's how you know it's serious. Yeah. <laughs> it's a winter clean out instead of a spring clean out. Yeah. Because um, I'm thinking of, now I'm just thinking of really specific places that I want to go. Like in England, I want to go back to Oxford because yeah. I had the best time there. It, it, it I, just, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I think even that England is... <laughs> um, speaking like once we've decided that's the next place we can go, we can make a separate list of where we want to go. That's a good idea. In that place. Yes, I love the way your brain works. Lists <laughs> upon lists. It's yeah. so good. Um, okay, so maybe I'll just do a little bit of journaling now. Why am I so bad at making those sort of stars? Stars are tricky. Like it's normally I'm like eh 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 eh, but the final leg like this side the last bit we're making it join up yeah yeah it like is this hard. is what it ends up like like you can barely even see that yeah that's you can still tell it's a star though yeah you can and it's a lovely that's yellow why color. i like doing d's or the triangle upon upside down triangle yeah those ones are um easy to get that balanced feel aren't they There's i like your hello <laughs> Um, I like the way that you do those little sparkly ones too. That's nice. I also really like the lettering you've done with the M and the S and like the ones at the bottom, yeah. the fancier letters. They look really cool. Um, okay. What's the date today? It's the 25th. Okay. So I'm going to write 25th of the 7th, 21 July. This is kind of how I like doing it. Like there's a bigger line with the actual day and then there's a smaller line underneath with the day. Yeah. I, um, yeah, you might see a pattern. I like it's. It's funny. I like seeing the way that different people choose to write dates. I think it's quite interesting. I got in the habit of doing it where I write the, the number for the day, but the actual full word for the month. Partly because I like the way that it looks, but also because I'm often journaling um, for like Instagram and YouTube and all that kind yeah. of stuff as well. And Americans do theirs the wrong way around. Wait, do they do it the They write month, day, and year. 
when they do. So if your oh, birthday would be 0120 um, and so a it, kind of the I clarity. Like I, it I makes sense for. Uh, it. I feel like it would make more sense, like sh shortest one, medium one, longest one. In terms of time, and yeah. that's why we do it that way. But I think Americans do it the way that they do, because you can. It's easier to sort things by month. So, mm. like, if you're making a big list of dates, all of your Januarys are together. All of your February. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's why they do it. I don't know though. So when I say the wrong way around, I'm actually just being a bit cheeky. There's no wrong way. No, it's but, just um, not our way. For me, this is clearer when you're... Um, it's clear for me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Americans. Yeah. I'm just waiting. Just trying to see if I've got a pencil board. I know I have one somewhere because I've been sticking a bunch of things in here and it's quite bumpy to write on. Yes, I do have one. It's down here. You're gonna keep going with yours? Yes, yeah, so I was not? just having a second thing. Yeah, you've got to do that. Come here, pencil board. Stop trying to escape from me. So rude. So, the one that I have is not um, TN size. This is actually a Hobonichi one. And um, so, it fits, it's but it sticks out a little bit at the side. What's a good idea? Oh, once we've been there. You can take it off. I love that. That's a really good idea. Okay, so this is the date, and what am I writing? I'm writing, we have been enjoying watching the Olympics in lockdown. Number six. <laughs> Lockdown number six for us. Um, because for the rest of November, it's number five. Hmm. Oh, because it's number six for us because, um, I think at the end of number five, me and Sumami went out to the sushi mm -hmm. for sushi. For sushi, yay! We went to the sushi train, sushi was yum. We got some ice cream afterwards, <laughs> went home. Went to, um, actually, we actually went to Daiso to get some stuff for you and some stuff yeah, for us. Yeah, went to a few different places in um, the city, then, which was allowed at the time. Yes, and then the next, second, no, so if we went there on Sunday, Monday, a Tuesday, later. two yeah. days later, yeah. um, I have cubs or scouts yeah. on Tuesday. Tuesdays. So when I was came come to be picked up, I was rushed into the car and was told that where we went to was a tier one exposure site. Uh huh. Not so, a good thing to find out. No. So we had to go into quarantine for two weeks. So we had an extra lockdown. Um, so for most people, it's lockdown number five, but for us, it's lockdown number six. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of people do have to do their self quarantining though. So it's not yeah, no, it's us. not just us. Absolutely yeah, not. No, You're no, quite no, right. Maybe not. Yeah. Look at people watching now. Wow. Nice. <laughs> okay, so I'm writing, uh, watching the Olympics in lockdown. Um, I'm going to do my journaling after you because when we're speaking at the same time it's very chaotic. Both seeing the international athletes and being um, I don't want to say stuck at home because I feel like we're stuck, but locked. No, that's worse. Both seeing the international athletes and being at home. I'm just gonna say that. Um, has got us thinking. travel we want to do when the pandemic is over which is kind of hard to imagine at the yeah, moment isn't it it's been we've had it for two solid years so we're kind of used to it yeah it's kind of scary when you think about it 
Yeah, we were just talking to um, Jack and Joe about that this morning, weren't we? Mm. Yeah, it was weird to get used to something so weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it has just become everyday life, hasn't it? Yeah. It's, yeah. You go through so many different weird emotions for that as well. Yep. Yeah. And have you found that your emotions are quite different now to what they were at the beginning? Yes. Yeah, how have they changed? Well, at the beginning, it was you, you had no idea what was happening. You were more worried. Yeah. And everybody was because we didn't know how to handle it back then. And yeah. Now we know a little bit more, but still, it's worse than it was last year. Yeah. So. So you've got kind of different feelings about it because of how your knowledge about it has changed? I think it's better than 2020. Yeah? Yeah, as you said. At least here, because I remember the day when we got here in Melbourne, 758 or something like that. New cases, cases yeah. Which, I don't think it sounds as big to people in the UK and the US because their um, populations are heaps larger. Yeah. But for us here in Melbourne, that was a big day. That, that was, was a lot of people. Yes. I mean, even one person having coronavirus is horrible, but when you're sort of thinking on the big scale, and you think about... 700 and yeah. something. Yeah. High 700s. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. But I think one of the ways of getting through it is thinking about um, what we're going to do when it's over. Yeah. Looking forward to the future. For I'm me, sure. anyway. It's, got, it's making me emotional, so... Okay, let's change, change the, the subject. Topic. <laughs> Oh, look, Totoro, look, who's the cute? cute. <laughs> oh, uh, all travel we'll do when this is over. Um, Artie and I are making lists. Do you want to do some decorating while you're waiting to do your journey? I want to leave space because I don't know how much journal I'm going to Oh, that's fair enough. Time. Yeah. Of the places we want to go. Mine includes, but is not limited to, whenever I make lists I forget things. Yeah. Japan. What did I have? I have. Are you not going to stick the list in there? No, I've changed my mind because it's not going to fit with the other things. Uh, England, Ireland, Scotland, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, France, Canada. Germany and New Zealand. I'm writing what season I want to go there. Oh, that that's a nice idea. Like Japan, I really want to go in the spring. Yeah. And I want, when I, I really want to go to Finland and I want to go there in winter. Yes, yes, when yes. When it's like icy. I heard in Finland um, in the winter, because it's just so much snow, yeah. they actually build a hotel made out of snow and ice. Are you serious? Yes. We have to go there. Like, it will be probably cold when you're trying to sleep, but they give you like really, really, really warm blankets. Wow. Yeah. I wonder if winter. I want to find out about that. I wonder if we, there, like, there might be some videos on YouTube or something of people who've done that. Yeah. We can look it up and find out. That sounds really cool. Okay. So I finished with my journaling now. So you can do yours if I'm going to be distracting you. I'm just writing. Oh, sorry. It's yeah, writing no. your seasons. That's right. That's okay. Yep. Nice. Um, I would like this one. 
It's my brush pen that I'm currently enjoying. And I just want a piece of My list includes Japan, mm -hmm. Ireland, mm -hmm. England, mm -hmm. Scotland, mm -hmm. Wales, mm -hmm. Italy, mm -hmm. Finland, mm -hmm. China, yep. Canada, yep. New Zealand. Amazing. Those We're going to be very busy. <laughs> Those are my main places that I want to go. That you know of so far. Yeah. <laughs> so far. Yeah. Not I was going to say, we reserve the right to add more things to our list <laughs> as we discover them. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to write a brush lettering sort of word to go at the top here. I'm thinking maybe adventures. I'm going to take, while I'm journaling, at, out of the camera, because that is okay with everybody. And when you see my journal pop back in, you'll be covered in okay, stuff. So do you need, what do you need from me while you're journaling? Do you need quiet? Probably or just you... a tiny bit of quiet. Okay. You can, you're allowed to speak, okay. but... No, I know it's easy to get distracted, so I just need to know what you need from me. Yep. If you've just popped on, we're being quiet while Artie does his journaling. Sorry. We are still here and the sound is not broken. You don't have to say sorry, I'm yeah. just letting people know. I'm just <laughs> getting closer. It's all good, there's no rush. Yeah, Artie is a little bit off screen because he's just doing his journaling and he was feeling a little bit um, like he needed to do it yeah. off camera. But he'll be back in a second. There it is. Have you done? Yep, I've done my journal. Do you feel like you want to share what you wrote? Sure. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 
You should read out yours as well. I did as I was writing it. Right. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst we have been in lockdown, we have been watching the Tokyo Olympics and have been thinking about places we want to go. And I thought a, a good journaling prompt was travel dreams. So the list included includes places I want to go at what time. Amazing. I love it. That's really good. Do you want to do something at the bottom in that space that you have left? Yes, I do. Um, in... Yeah, don't know what one. Oh, thanks, Mouse. Mouse is saying that she really likes the way you've set up your page. Oh, thank you. With the, the um that bit at the top and then the journaling underneath and the washi separating them. I actually think this is my favourite page so far. Yeah, it's awesome. I know I say that every time I do it. But... Well, that's because you're getting better all the time. And refining your style all the time, right? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing here as I was um as Adi was journaling, I made a little um oh, it's so cute. brush lettery piece here that says adventures. Um and I just want to do like a little bit at the bottom here with something. And I'm not sure what. <laughs> so that's where we were at. Uh, I wanted to like write something like, you know, uh, dreaming of future adventures or dreaming of the places we'll go. Like, because yeah, we were just saying that that's something that um, can help get you through when you're feeling a little bit stuck. Thinking about things to look forward to. Sorry about the clattering, guys. I think it's a happy sound, the clattering of pencils. <laughs> I don't think that's a bad sound. We do love Totoro in this family, don't we? Totoro rules. Totoro does rule. And we have got, um, the, for, for our anniversary, I got Sarah Jane the, um, the soundtrack on vinyl. I just, I've got this pencil board. Cute. It's still not quite the right size, but it's another, yeah, I forgot that I had that. I'm sorry, I'm being a little bit vague. I'm, I want to stick things uh, like on here, but I want to put something underneath because it's just looking a little bit bare. Um, so I'm just thinking about that. I just want to layer something underneath. And it's probably just paper really is all that it needs. I don't need to overthink that. Yeah, I love the sound of pencils too. I am not somebody who responds to ASMR. I know it's a thing that um, is really lovely for a lot of people, but I don't get whatever the positive effect is. It doesn't work on me but I don't think it works on me very well either no but um I think some people's brains are just wired to like have like a really happy response to particular sounds yeah it's very cool um, um one of my favorite sounds in the world is rain on tin rain on the tin roof yeah I love that too but if I was an ASMR person it would be paper rustling pencils clattering uh paint brushes in like tinkling against the water and washing cup thing, water cup, that kind of, those would be my sounds I reckon. Oops. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of sad that my brain doesn't do that for me, I wish it did. A big huggable Totoro! Oh. I have a mini, uh, yeah, the three Totoros, we have um, the medium sized one. Do you want to go get one? Life size. I just hopped up to go and get one. So you can see the one that we have. Do we, bu do we buy one in Japan or have we got them all at different times? We only have the medium one. Is the other one in your room maybe? What other one? Is that the only one we have? Yeah. Oh, I thought we had more than that. No, we've got the darker blue one. Okay. The medium sized one. And he's about life-sized, I think. Yeah. Sandra, you should Google ASMR. It's really interesting. And I don't know that I'm like an expert in it, but it's actually, some people have really um, positive, like almost kind of physiological responses to particular sounds. And people will make videos of, of those kinds of sounds so that they can listen to them. And it just makes them feel really relaxed. And I think it actually like releases dopamine and those kind of neurochemicals that make you feel good. That's how Joshua and the buddy is showing you. It's very cute. Um, 
Yeah, it's and so people make ASMR videos of all of those sounds, so you can like just turn them on and listen, and it's like kind of it just makes you feel really good. But yeah, only some people's brains are kind of wired to uh, respond in that way. And like I was saying, I wish mine did. I feel like that would be a really cool thing to be able to enjoy. I think my page is almost done. It looks oh, pretty good. Oh, did we good. send the link to Jo? No, but she found us. She sent a message earlier. Oh, okay. Which is good because I did forget. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you should definitely watch it. It's a wonderful movie, Mouse and Cat. Uh, Totoro is just lovely. Is it your favourite Ghibli, though? It's not. What's yours, honey? I love... I think it's in my top three. I couldn't rank my top three. Top three, Totoro, Kiki, and Spirited Away. Kiki's Delivery Service and Spirited Away? Yeah, yeah they're all pretty good. Um, I don't know if I could pick a favourite. I love Arietti because it's so beautiful with all the flowers and stuff. Mm. But it's not my favourite story. Like, no. It's my favourite one to look at visually. It's, it's the most visually, as aesthetically pleasing. Aesthetic. For sure. Yeah. Aesthetic. 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 I don't know. Aesthetic is wrong. Okay. <laughs> it makes me cross when people say, not you. <laughs> but like people, when people say it, I'm like, no, that's not right. Um, no. oh, I don't know what my no, favourite is. Sure. I love, I love Totoro. I love Spirited Away as well. Yeah. Oh, it's so hard to choose. I'm curious about what other people's favourites are. Yeah. Oh, yes, Debbie, the, the crackly sound of like, of paper that's kind of old and crinkly. Yeah. That's a great sound. Did you hear something go click? I think I heard something from outside. So okay, because it was the coffee machine going click a second ago. Okay, I'm just going to check my so all I'm doing here is just looking for a last thing to put under here because that's too plain for me and I don't think I've got enough room to do much journaling under there. So, yeah, Spirited Away is beautiful. And they um, that one won an Oscar. Like, and that, which is pretty, I think, because the Oscars are like, comparatively racist, um, you don't see a lot of um, films made outside of um, America and winning so it's, it's quite cool I wonder if there's a I'm just I'm really struggling to find another layer to put on here maybe one of these labels will look good I'm just gonna put Togoro back <laughs> gonna go back with his friends back with the cat Gigi bus friends. cat bus and Gigi we don't have a cat we go back to Josie and Josh oh no I was sorry I'm thinking of um oh no we do have another Totoro I thought so. Oh, yes. But when I said cat bus, I was actually thinking of Upper. Oh. Who is probably like the cat bus's cousin. He is the twelfth. I knew we had another one. You got him out of a... No, mummy won him out of a... Um, skill test. Yeah. Machine. One of the ones with the grabby hands. Of course, yeah. yeah. When uh, when we were there, I got a um, Volpix keychain. You won Volpix and I won a um, little twin stars... Thing. It's one of my other favourite kind of Japanese um, little characters. It's a Sanrio thing. Yeah. Uh, so I Hello Kitty Sanrio. is Sanrio, and um, one of the other Sanrio things is the little twin stars, and they're my favourite. My favourite um, Sanrio thing is Pom Pom Poran. Yeah, Pom Pom Poran's so cute. Um, I have a toy of him as well, so I can get him maybe. Mm -hmm. He's actually been in a previous video. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's. How does the color thing work? The main Totoro is this color. Yeah, it's he's gray. Got, he's got little friends. Yeah, the the smallest one is the white one. The teeny tiny. And then the medium one is the dark blue. Is blue, yeah. yeah. Um, and we don't really like. It's funny. These the Ghibli films don't always tell you all of the backstory and background of the characters. You kind of are left to work that out. Yeah. So we don't really know a lot of the lore around who Totoro actually is. I, we're um, he is a, um, spirit. He's a spirit, but, like, in terms of, like, how he fits into his little family of other Totoros and where they come from and all that kind of stuff, it's sort of a bit mysterious. But it's, I like that in a way because it, like, it leaves you your brain to imagine yeah. what actually is. And we love that. Imagination. Are you tidying up? Uh, I finished my part, so yeah. I can monitor the chat now. Okay. <laughs> 
I'm just, I'm just, again, I'm having a lot of trouble deciding. Maybe I'll just do a little bit of colour swatching, like, because I've got these pencils and I wasn't sure. I've been sort of practicing using them on top of my watercolours as adding in extra detail. So maybe I'll just swatch some of my greens to um, have them here and they can match in with the green. That is, what have I got? I've got. Same. What are the colours are there? And then this can just be like a background thing. Oh, Toho isn't a first name. It's more like a family name. Oh, I didn't know that. That's oh. so cool. Oh, is that a question? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. No, oh. I don't know. Well, I mean, there are. That would make sense. Yeah. That would, that would make sense. It's possible. There are, um, because there is a little family of them and they're all different sizes. And yeah, I don't know. The brown bit as well. I've got this kind of brownie green. Yeah, actually. And it'll overlap, so it'll just poke out from the top. And then I've tested them and I can use them on my next. Because I've been doing a bunch of watercolour painting lately, which has been really fun. Um, I think I showed this on Instagram, but I've been just doing like little sort of sketches and then painting them to colour them in with watercolours. And then on some of them I've been going over them with pencil. Um, and like this one I kind of redid some of the yellows and things with pencil so i'm really enjoying playing with how the different media interact with each other you off somewhere chooky dook yeah. getting a hair tie ah yes he's got very long hair doesn't my little boy and it does get in his way sometimes especially like when we're doing things like craft and cooking and all that kind of thing so um he's but he does really like wearing it down and it looks really lovely down because it is so kind of long and majestical. <laughs> so that's really nice. So I'm just gonna glue this in, nearly done. And I think Adi will probably come back to say goodbye in a minute once we're once we're finished. I went for a side bun. That's very cute, you look lovely. <laughs> This glue smells like sunscreen. Does it? Yep. Oh god. Like it's not yeah. bad, but I'm just like, why does it smell familiar? And I've I just worked it out. I think it's got because it has some of the same ingredients. Maybe. Maybe. What was the thing that you washed it out? Why? Oh, because I, I I could like smell it and it smelled that. I've forgotten how to talk. Uh, Let's try that again. I've been using that same one for a while, and the smell has felt really familiar. And I've been trying to put my finger on why it is familiar. And it is because it smells like sunscreen. Um, an art, my favorite art supply. Sorry. Did I you get asked that in the chat? Yes. Yeah. I um, I love lots of art supplies, but I think the thing that I use the most is double sided tape. <laughs> I love it, and it's useful, and yeah, probably. So answer, double sided tape. What is your favorite thing, like to draw or paint or like make marks with? Probably a gel pen. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I like gel pens too. They're very satisfying to use. And they generally don't smudge too much, which is always no. pleasing when you're somebody who... To, like, to to write with gel pens. Yeah. Stuff. What about when we're painting? What's your favourite kind of paint? Uh, acrylic. Yeah? Because Why do you like acrylic best? I just think you get more of a vibrant colour. Totally agree. And um, it's very clear. Yeah. It's, kind, it's very bold, isn't it? Ooh, coloured pencils or markers? Um, markers. Mm, I think I would use coloured pencils. Yeah. Yeah, but I love markers too. That would be a tough choice. It is. Um, I think I need a little bit of washi tape. I don't like this little tiny gap here. That's I like me. it. <laughs> I need to. You can, you can, you, you, with, you can try and like. Colour it in with a pencil. That's yeah. an interesting thought. Yes, it could actually work. I'm just going to trim this because then I'll have a better idea of how it looks. 
trimming around the edge, making a mess of it, but that's okay. You could put a sticker there. You could totally put a sticker there. I was actually thinking of putting some washi, which is basically the same thing. Let's see here. Oopsie daisies. Everything's falling over. Hey, you know, it's nearly time to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. I think I might put a bit of washi on the bottom. So, yeah. my... Do you want to use my sparkly washi? Or your theme is never this. No, I don't think I'm going to go sparkly, but thank you for offering. I think I'm going to go one of these guys. Something really simple. I quite like this. This one's green, and the rest of the page is quite green, so maybe I'll try that. I like the way that the pink at the bottom and then the green at the top kind of echo each other, even though they're different. Mm. That's quite pleasing to me. Okay, so I'm just going to tear this. Um, so I had a massive um, spill on my craft table this week, a couple of days ago, and I spilled coffee all over everything. And one of the things that got wrecked was my junk journal, July junk journal. And that sucked, but... Um, I have remade, an, I've made a new journal and I have started filming process videos for redoing Junk Journal July because I had the best time um, actually doing the prompts uh, before I got too in my head about it and ended up sort of losing track and that was partly YouTube stuff but it was mostly just work and being really busy. So I will be continuing on with it in my new journal that I've made, which is small, like slightly smaller. Oh, that's a card. Um, but here's a little slight little tinny preview. So that's the first prompt, which is welcome. Uh, the second prompt, which was, oops, daisies, highlights. And the third prompt, which is botanicals. There's another little swatch there. Um, so that is still happening. Uh, so if you were enjoying those as lives, uh, you will still get to see bits of my junk journal. I'm just really enjoying junk journaling at the moment. I'm enjoying junk journaling. I'm enjoying my personal journaling in my TNs. Um, and that's sort of where I'm putting my creative time at the moment, as well as into my scrapbook. So, can I ask your question? I do have an arts case. You do have a, what's the, sorry? Whose question? There's a question there. What, what was the question? Um, do you have an art supply arts case? case? Oh, you've got like a trolley that you put all Yes, and you? this is my journaling theme that is yeah. soon to be much more pinned with pins and mm -hmm. soon to be full of. Yes. But I've only just joined the journaling community. Yeah. So. <laughs> but this this is a good one because you can take it like out to the couch or out here to the table and work in your journal. Oh, really? Theme. Anywhere. Exactly. It's yeah. pretty portable. Yeah. Like if we're going to like a staycation or it's easy when we're like in Japan or a place yeah. where we're at a hotel and you can just like want some chill time, take it out, do some journaling. Yeah, it's really good. And also you can even just take it with you next time you're allowed to go to a cafe or something. Yeah. Like it just comes with you in your bag. Nice cafe. Looking yeah. forward to doing cafe things again. It's going to be good. Lots of cafe things. Ah. Can you give us a tour of your case and trolley? Maybe we um, should once it's set up. Not my trolley yet. <laughs> it's a mess. It's, it's literally a, a dumb a hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst place in my room. <laughs> <laughs> just because it's messy. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 a lost cause there. Yeah. But Mouse wants to see your must-have journaling supplies. I reckon we could do a video we about that in like, the future. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll I do think, one that's like edited, like yeah. So you can have a think. And another one that I suggested this is we should do a um a, a beginners video for like journaling or scrapbooking tips. How to get started. Yeah. How to get started. On Especially your for kids or for anybody. Or for anybody really. Yeah. Because I reckon your perspective, being able to like get other kids interested in it, would be quite. Well, you could do maybe like a, maybe you could do like a grown up version, and I could do maybe like a you could do a, a side by side comparison. Yeah. Of what we have in our journal bags. And how to get, yeah, I think that's, that's a good, good idea. idea. That's All right, we'll do that. Idea. All right. Thanks for getting us started on that idea, Mouse. That's really good. He yeah. does sound like me. He looks like me too, except he's much cuter. <laughs> you're as cute. You're as cute. Yeah, no, my jeans are strong in this one. Except, like, he's a lot like his mummy, too, because even though they don't have genes in common, they've got a lot of, like, mannerisms and figures and of speech and turns of phrase and stuff in common. So he actually does look and sound a lot like her, even though, like. I, I, um, more characteristics from. 
You're kind of a mix of both of yeah, us. Yeah, really. I am really. Yeah. And my donor. A bit of your donor in there too. Who I still haven't met. That's a conversation for another day, yeah. I think. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we talk it. about it, but I mean, like, maybe we won't talk about it online. Yeah, just, yeah. no. Yeah. I didn't want to. I'm yeah. just saying that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, saying that your art supplies are a mess is a lot like me. <laughs> All right, I think we should wrap it up now. I'm going to do a little bit more journaling under here and maybe add a bit more washi, but this, that's basically what this page is going to look like. Thank you for coming on that one watch. Yeah, yeah. Even and if we'll you didn't get to stick for all around for all of it, thank you for at least popping on. Yeah, it's really nice when people come and say hello, and hopefully the people who are watching it afterwards will also enjoy it and leave yeah. us a comment to let us know what they think. And, um, yeah. And yeah, we'll see you again really soon. Yeah, hope you enjoyed us, our <laughs> process. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Bye. See ya.